Hey everybody, Patricia Laverty here. How's it going? So what I'm going to talk to you about uh, in this video is the correct way to name and upload your uh, images into WordPress. <coughs> now, some people seem to think this is not an important step. It's a very important step and it really helps with your SEO and back end of uh, WordPress so that Google has a better chance of picking you up. So it's really important to name your images properly uh, and not just have some gobble, gobbledygook random name. It's not good practice. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm also going to show you how to get an image from Booktopia because I've already done a video on how to get your link from Booktopia. Now I'm going to show you also how to get that image from Booktopia as well. So we're going to start off with an ordinary image, getting an image and uploading it to WordPress and then we're going to do the same with Booktopia. So here we go. So you can either upload your own image or let's say you don't have your own image and you want to get one from the internet. Remember you have to go to a site that allows free downloads. So in this case I use unsplash.com and that allows you free images. Now let's pretend we're looking for something on weight loss. I don't know, it's just the first thing that came into my mind. Just type in weight loss, scroll to find the images that you want and we'll keep it pretty simple, all right? I'm just gonna pick anything. So I'm going to choose this lovely one with the uh, food in it. So you click on the image that you want, which brings it to a bigger uh, screen for you right click it and save image as. Now save it into the directory you want to save it to. I'm actually going to save it into my desktop just for ease of use and you'll notice up on the top the save as is still highlighted blue and we're going to give it a proper name. So if my niche is around weight loss or losing weight or eating properly they're the keywords that I have researched for that particular niche. So again, just throwing anything in there is not great, but get as close as you can. So I'm going to call this, um, just for ease of use, um, eating healthy. And I'm going to call it one because I might be writing a blog on eating healthy or eating healthily is even, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do eating healthy one. You may have two or three images that you want to put up on that blog post and you're going, oh, I've got to come up with another name. That's okay. You can call it Eating Healthy 1, Eating Healthy 2, Eating Healthy 3 because the words Eating Healthy are in there and um, you're still picking up those keywords. So I'm saving it to my desktop and I'm just going to call it Eating Healthy 1 and it's a JPEG file. And just a word on that. Anything that any images that you want to use on your on the internet or on your website, you're better going for a JPEG than a PNG because it likes JPEGs better. They're crisper. Um, they're just uh, far more powerful for a website. Whereas PNGs can be used for other sites as well. And don't panic if you've used PNGs. It's not the end of the end of the world. But from now on, you're better off with a JPEG. Okay, so I'm going to save that image. All right, so that's step number one. Then I'm going to pop over to my uh, login to the back end of my WordPress uh, website, which is my dashboard. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to go to Media Library. Or you can just hit Media and it will take you, uh, the, it'll expand the menu on the left hand side like this, and you can go Library there. So either way is correct. Then we're going to add a new image. So you click on the Add Now button. Then you scroll down a little bit. If you can't already see this drag and drop files here. You click Select Files. You go to, I was on Desktop, and I called it Eating Healthy. So there it is, Eating Healthy 1 JPEG, and Open. Give it a few seconds to do its upload. The blue bar is uploading now and we just got to wait for it. Don't go clicking everywhere. Just sit and be patient and just wait there for a little while. Okay, there it is. Make sure you've clicked on it. And when you come over to its panel of information, its title is Eating Healthy 1. 
its file name. There's a difference between a file name and a title. The file name is called eatinghealthy1.jpg. It's created a JPEG file because that's what you asked it to do. But the title of it, which is you can call it anything you like, but it's not going to save it again as a different file type. It's just the name of it for reference. So we've called it Eating Healthy 1. All you do is copy that, highlight, copy, and place it into the alternative text. This is good SEO practice because Google loves it. It'll find it in both places, and the more places you can put it, the better without keyword stuffing. You've got to be careful not to go over the top as well. So it's done that and that means that that image is now ready to be downloaded into any of your blog posts and it's correctly uh, named. Okay, so that's how you correctly get, a, get a, an image from the internet, make sure you name it properly and then save it and load it up into WordPress ready for SEO. If you load it up with that gobbledygook, long, horrible name that it tried to bring over, you're just wasting good footprint. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the image that you want from Booktopia because I know Booktopia can be a little bit tricky and I have already done a video under the Booktopia uh, uh, training in this, in, on the site here. Um, so follow that, but before you do that, if you need the image of that book, you need to get it yourself. So let's say, so lo log into Booktopia as if you were a customer, so booktopia.com.au, and I'm going in as a customer. And then I'm going to search for the book that I'm going to affiliate with. So the book that, let's pretend it's called, um, I don't know, uh, let's go, um, if they've got three little pigs who cares who cares right three little pigs okay now there's a selection of books will come up for you and let's say you want this three little pigs here you just click on that image so we're only going for the image that's all we're going for we're not going for links or anything we're just going for the image scroll till you can see the image in your view and take a snapshot of that. Now I'm on a Mac, so I do Command, Shift and hit my number four. If you're on a PC, you can use what's called Snipping Tool and do the same thing. You can also use a product called Jing, J-I-N-G, is always a free software as well. If you've got a PC, you will have Snipping Tool. And if you're on a Mac, it is Shift, Command, four. So I'm going to do shift command four. You can see it's turned my mouse into a cross and then I'm going to take it from the corner of the book to the outside of the book. Now I think I've missed it there. I think I've taken from, I should have taken from here to here. So I'm going to go again, shift command four and I'm actually going to take it from the very top of that box to the very bottom of the box because it's saying that's the size of the book cover. Now, my images will automatically go over to a desktop. You'll need to check on your computer where your snapshots go. It's usually either to desktop or to downloads. Usually it's those two files. You'll see on your computer where they go. All right, so I know that that has happened. So the next important thing I have to do is I have to rename that file because it's come over with a pretty horrible name. So in my Mac, I'm going to my Finder. If you're on your PC, you would go to your Documents. So in my Finder, I know it's gone to Desktop. If you're on a PC, it's probably gone to Downloads. So I'm going to go to Desktop, and I know the very last image that got, that got copied. There's all my short screenshots that I've been taking. The very last one I took is about the three little pigs. You can see it's called Screenshot 2020 blah, 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 blah. Please don't use those file names up on WordPress. It's just awful. Um, you're just wasting space and it's very annoying. So you need to rename this file correctly before it goes. If you're using a book, I suggest you rename your image to the name of the book. Uh, and that's what I would do for Booktopia. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it Three Little Pigs. Okay, and hit enter, which will put it somewhere else. 
then I'm able to go over to WordPress again I'm already in here and I would go into you tell me remember media library so I'm going to go media library where I already am and I'm going to add new image okay I've added new image and I'm going to select the file and remember I put it in desktop and I called it three little pigs I'm going to scroll down to T three little pigs it's PNG which is totally fine because that's the way it copies it so PNG is fine so I'm going to open that and there there's the blue line which is means it's uploading it now just wait for that blue line to finish okay once it's finished you click on the image which brings you into the attachment details you take the title which is the three little pigs take a copy and paste it into alternative text three little pigs it saves it automatically and you just have to close it and that's the correct way to upload your images into WordPress and that is the correct way to get your book image from Booktopia as well so I've given you two trainings in the one um, so please make sure that you do that it's really really important and make sure you get into the habit of doing it that way and it's just going to boost everything from the back end for you all right so this is Patricia Labity signing off and I will see you on the next training video bye for now